Hey guys, so in our previous video, I gave you a brief rundown on the um, settings, of, well, at least the manual settings um, on DSLR and mirrorless cameras. And today what I figured we'd do is give you um, a quick rundown on the three exposure variables, namely your shutter speed, aperture and ISO. Um, and that's generally referred to as the exposure triangle. So uh, let me take you through that quickly. Okay guys, so when we're talking about the exposure triangle, we're effectively talking about three variables, namely shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Now, I'm just gonna explain to you quickly what those three elements are. So, shutter speed is the amount of time that your shutter remains open to light reaching it via your lens. Um, your aperture is the opening of your lens and um, effectively determines the amount of light that reaches the sensor. Um, then your third element is the ISO. Um, ISO is basically the sensitivity of your sensor to that light reaching it via the lens. So these three elements basically work in conjunction with each other. Um, and when all of them are balanced out and sort of in, an, in a state of equilibrium, I guess, then you will get correct exposure in your images. Now, correct exposure doesn't necessarily mean that the image will be exactly what you want it to be. Um, all that correct exposure effectively means is that you will have an image where um, your main subject matter in front of you is not underexposed, so it's not too dark, and it's not overexposed, so it's not too light. Okay, so say for example you're shooting a subject matter um, and you have your ISO set to 200, okay, and your camera tells you that um, you know for that given subject matter your exposure needs to have your you know your shutter speed at 1 over 125 and your aperture at f2.8 okay now if you change any of those variables the other variables need to change to accommodate it so just as an example say you change your aperture to f4 so effectively now you've closed down a little bit and less light is reaching your sensor now you need to compensate for that and you can either compensate for it by um, increasing the sensitivity of your sensor, so upping your ISO, so effectively moving from 200 to 400, so a one-stop difference, or you can um, allow your sensor to receive light for a longer period of time, so changing your shutter speed. So in this example, your shutter speed is set to um, 1 over 125, and you can change that to 1 over 60, so effectively leaving it open for a longer amount of time to compensate for less light reaching it. So the exact same is true if you um, change one of the other variables. So say you change your ISO, um, so your shutter speed remains at um, 1 over 125 and your aperture remains at f2.8, but now you change your ISO to, um, well, from 200 to 400. So now you've upped it by one stop and somewhere else you need to compensate for it. And this remains true throughout. No matter what camera you have, literally no matter what you do, the rules stay exactly the same. Um, if you have your exposure set, if you change any one of the variables, then one of the other variables or both of the other variables need to change to accommodate that to maintain correct exposure. Now, using these variables is also how you can gain a bit of creativity with your photography. Sometimes you want it to be a little bit darker, you want a little bit of underexposure, maybe for a slightly more dramatic effect. Um, the same is true if you want a slight overexposure, you know, um, especially um, say you're shooting um, you know, fashion photography, you know, um, and uh, it's quite a, quite a common thing where you want to, you know, do tinting on your subject matter and you want your whole background blown out. You know, that kind of thing, that's where you use exposure and all exposure builds from these principles of the exposure triangle. So that's basically just a brief little rundown of the three elements involved in exposure. So what we're going to do in the next couple of videos is I'm going to take you through in detail on each of these elements, literally run you through the effects that aperture and shutter speed and ISO have, show you some sample pictures that we're going to be shooting and um, yeah, just continue to take you around uh, beautiful Cape Town here. As always, um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop us a like. Um, comment if there's anything that you'd like to know and as always subscribe for more of these. Thank you.